Hey, this is Squat, and in this video, I want to tell you about antibody. Antibody is a group of proteins bound together on B cell, and a B cell can differentiate into a plasma cell, and this plasma cell then secrete these antibodies. Of course, a B cell can have multiple antibodies on its surface, all of them being the same. And if you take a close look at a antibody, it's going to look like this. There are four main proteins. These two called the heavy chain proteins and these two called the light chain proteins and these proteins are connected together with strong chemical bond called self hydral bond antibodies are secreted and uh, get to many different places outside of cell uh, mucus gut etc so this strong self hydral bond needs to keep the proteins together the whole time in different types of harsh environments. And these parts of the antibody is similar to the alpha beta proteins of uh, T cell receptor. And the tip of this region, as in the T cell receptor, is the variable region. And the variable regions are different between two different B cells. And this region of the antibody is the FC region. It is part of the constant region. And uh, there are many types of FC region. And each FC region type can activate different immune response. Antibodies can bind to toxins. Here are some toxins. And here... Antibodies are bound to the toxins and containing them. So antibodies can do detoxification. Antibodies can also bind to a pathogen. And cells like macrophage can bind to this FC region. And this binding will activate the macrophage to engulf this pathogen. And this process of marking a pathogen to be... Uh, eaten by a phagocytosis is called opsonization. Antibodies can also bind to a pathogen surface and uh, activate other proteins floating around in the body. And these proteins are part of the complement system. And the activation of these complement system proteins eventually activates the membrane attack complex, also part of the complement system. And uh, the membrane attack complex is going to open up a hole on the surface of the pathogen and uh, lyse the pathogen. And finally, here is your own cell, but it's displaying some problematic molecules. And antibody can bind to these molecules. Of course, the antibodies have the FC region. An NK cell can bind to these special FC regions and this binding activates the NK cell and the NK cell is going to kill this self cell via apoptosis and this process is called uh, antibody dependent cellular cytotoxicity and NK cell kills the problematic self cell with similar mechanism used by the cytotoxic T cell. And there are a few types of antibodies that are different in their FC region. Here is an antibody called IgG. The FC region of IgG can bind to proteins of the complement system. And here's another type of antibody, IgD. People don't know too much about IgD, but they are often uh, expressed together with IgM and IgM is actually made with five 
antibodies bound together with this protein called J chain. And IgM FC regions can also bind to the complement system proteins. And IgM is usually the first antibody to be made, and it's the default antibody. And speaking of multiple antibodies bound together, here's another one called IgA. And this is same J chain. And IgA is usually secreted in the mucosa, like in your gut. And lastly, here is another antibody, IgE. IgE's FC region binds to mast cell receptor. When mast cell binds to the FC region of IgE, bound to extracellular pathogen like a parasite, mast cell releases lots of chemicals to attack the extracellular pathogen. And this mast cell reaction also takes place when there is allergic reaction. And maybe what's happening is that IgE is bound to allergens and mast cell recognize the FC region of the IgE bound to allergen and triggering the same reaction. And finally, if you look at the genome, then you find the, the J region, of course, an exon region for IgM, another exon region for IgD, and four different IgGs. And there is a region for and here's an exon for IgE. And finally, here's an exon for IgA. IgM is the closest exon to the VDJ region. And it's also the first antibody to be made by default. IgD is often secreted together with IgM. Maybe it's because IgM and IgD are closer in distance. And joining of specific variable exons with an exon from any of these choices will lead to a B cell receptor with specific FC region. The FC regions of all of these receptors are different and this difference leads to different functions.